Good morning. This is Kelo Land on the Go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your Easter Sunday. We also have your boredom busters coming up at first, our top story. The search for a missing woman has come to a tragic end in Hanson County. The body of 60-year-old Kay Flitty was found Saturday some four miles east of where she was last seen nearly two weeks ago. First responders, along with more than 120 volunteers, gathered Saturday to launch a search for the missing woman. They fanned out over an eight-square-mile area looking for Flitty. Search organizers appreciated the large turnout. On Easter weekend, this is absolutely amazing to have, you know, 200 people come out here and, and try to help find Kay and find some answers for her family. And to me, it just goes to show how great the people from South Dakota are to be able to drop what they're doing and come out and help like this. The Sheriff's Department is thanking all of the people who took part in the search to help bring closure to Flitty's family. Flitty was last seen on April 5th. She was supposed to leave Sioux Falls and drive to Arkansas. Her car was later found on Interstate 90 near the Spencer exit. Her death is under investigation. Minnehaha County authorities have not yet released the name of the 11-year-old who was killed in a weekend rollover involving a utility terrain vehicle. It happened Friday night north of Garrettson near the intersection of Highway 11 and 247th Street. First responders attempted life-saving efforts, but the child died at the scene. Authorities closed the area to traffic while crews worked the scene. Well, if you're a parent, you've probably spent countless hours reading to your child. Now, one local nonprofit that has a focus on literacy is in need of donations so families can continue spending time reading books together. Last year, Reach Literacy gave nearly 18,000 children's books to schools, nonprofits, and youth. Reach is currently in need of more donations from the public, especially children's books. We'll take your books from board books all the way up to middle school. And middle school and young adult is probably our least donated book because if you remember, that's when your sort of love of reading sort of kind of blossoms for you and you don't want to get rid of that book. Oh, there it is. Some of the most popular children's books are ones about dinosaurs. The Harry Potter series is also popular for young adults. There will be a pop-up book sale and donation drive on Wednesday, April 27th at Severance Brewing. You can bring books to donate and browse the bookshop. Let's get a check of the forecast now with meteorologist Adam Rutt in the Storm Center. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Perry, and good morning, everybody. On this Easter Sunday, you could maybe track the Easter Bunny in portions of Kelloland with a little bit of snow on the ground, like what you see behind me in Mulbridge. For example, we had some snow move through. Not much, but enough to track various things out there. 32 with south wind at 24 miles per hour. We haven't seen any frozen precipitation in Falls Park. We do have plenty of gray skies, though. 33 southeast wind at 11 miles per hour. 33 also your number in Spencer and in Pier. 35 Yankton and Mitchell. Watertown and Marshall, 29. 33 Aberdeen, 32 Mulbridge, 34 toward Rapid City with low pressure trying to make its way through. The center of this area of low pressure is actually in North Dakota. But we still are going to be dealing with wind all the same today, especially West River, where they have various wind headlines in place. Even if you are East River, it's still going to, at bare minimum, be blustery for your Easter Sunday. We'll talk about the rest of your extended forecast, including some spring-like temperatures and spring-like weather conditions as well, coming up in just a bit. All right, thank you very much, Adam. Well, the cold weather didn't keep people from taking part in an Easter event in downtown Sioux Falls Saturday. Around two dozen businesses hosted the fourth annual downtown Easter egg hunt. Parents and their children walked up and down Phillips Avenue collecting colorful eggs filled with treats. First Reformed Church in Sioux Falls is hosting an Easter egg hunt starting at 10 a.m. Families are invited in the fellowship hall for donut holes and instructions. The egg hunt will be in the lower level of the education wing and also in the East edition. Well, if you can't make it to Easter Sunday services today, Kelloland Media Group will bring the services to your living room. Our coverage starts at 10 a.m. Central Time with a broadcast of Sunday TV Mass from St. Joseph Cathedral on Kelloland Television. That's followed by Celebrate Church at 11 a.m. on Kello Extra. We'll broadcast Zion Lutheran services at 11.30 on Kello TV and Bro Brookings First United Methodist at 11.30 on Kello Extra. First United Methodist broadcast will air at 12.30 on Kelloland TV. Movies playing at the historic State Theater in downtown Sioux Falls include Steel Magnolias, rated PG, and the award-winning film Coda, rated PG-13. Adam? Well, here are those wind headlines I was mentioning before. Wind advisory in tan from areas just west of Aberdeen through a majority of our West River communities. 
through 8 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Mountain Time today. Also, a high wind warning for Butte and Harding County for the same time frame, as we may see gusts in either advisory area approach and exceed 50 to 60 miles per hour at times. Even to the east, not as windy, still breezy, if not blustery at times. So you will want to keep that in mind. There is the moisture that gave Mulbridge its skiff of snow. It's going to continue to move on through over the next couple of hours and traverse to the east. If you do see snow falling, it's not going to amount to too much more of an annoyance than anything else. But definitely the key word there is annoyance, considering it is Easter Sunday, number one, and it's the middle of April, number two. Thankfully, this isn't two years ago, so we're not expecting much in the way of accumulation if any at all, with everything moving through. That honor, or lack thereof, goes to North Dakota, where they are closer to the center of that low, and they see more snow on top of what they've already had over the last week. Take that or the severe weather that's been popping up at times in northern portions of Mississippi. Personally, I will take the former over the latter each and every time for Easter Sunday. Meanwhile, for the next couple of days, Monday and Tuesday are mainly dry but windy, so fire weather concerns are going to be back in place. And then we watch rain build into the picture Tuesday night into Wednesday. That'll be one opportunity. And then we watch Thursday night into Friday and even into Saturday for that matter, as we have another opportunity for some showers and even some thunderstorms, which will come around at about the same time. And the setup for Friday into Saturday is going to be similar to what we had not too long ago with that little flare up of severe weather where we have warm air and cold air converging nearby. So we'll watch that as we head through the next couple of days. Beyond the seven day forecast, above average temperatures overall win out the further south and east you go, but we do try to moderate beyond the seven day forecast itself. This is also something we like to see chances for above average amounts of moisture, be it rain or at least in some cases this morning, a little bit of snow as well. We have a wedge of 50s for high temperatures today here on South and West into Mitchell, Valentine, and even toward Rapid City. Either side of that wedge, we'll see highs in the 40s and even into the 30s toward Faith and Buffalo. Overnight low temperatures tonight bottoming out in the teens and 20s as we gradually clear out and the wind does back off temporarily, only to pick up again as we end to your day on Monday. 40s East River and some 30s to the Northeast, around 50 the further west you go. Your seven day forecast features more wind through a majority of your upcoming work week. We'll watch Tuesday night and Wednesday for some rain, as well as Friday and Saturday for showers and some thunderstorms. But you also notice on the temperature side of things, uh, we do jump up from the 40s through Tuesday to the 60s or better once we hit Wednesday. Have a great day and a happy Easter, everybody. For more on your local news, weather, and sports, you can always head on over to kelloland.com.